Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotion. I fix my eyes on you, the founder and the finisher of our faith. I fix my eyes on you, the solace in your suffering. Is my strength and my heart is weary and my soul is weak when it seems I can traverse the trail before me. I survey the glory of your agony and I find the will. To fight for what's before me Cause you ran the race Endure it for your glory I fix my eyes on you The founder and the finisher of our faith I fix my eyes on you, the solace in your suffering is my strength, as I fight to follow, you're my righteous guide, and you train me to delight in no, all that's holy, heal my broken body. Cure my crooked stride Throw off every weight and sing the things so closely I will run the race, endure it for your glory I fix my eyes on you The founder and the finisher of our faith I fix my eyes on you The solace in your suffering is my strength I fix my eyes on you The founder and the finisher of our faith I fix my eyes on you The solace in your suffering is my strength Psalm chapter 119 verses 129 to 136 Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your way with those who love your name. Keep steady my steps according to your promise, and let no iniquity get dominion over me. Redeem me from man's oppression, that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears, because people do not keep your law. God Directed Steps The psalmist names four requests from verses 132 to 135, rooted in the Word of God. First, he asks God to look and have mercy. He mentions that God has always been doing this. He gives us attention and shows us mercy. This is a beautiful promise for those who are in the Lord. God looks at us and sees Jesus' righteousness instead of our sin. Second, he asks that God directs his footsteps. There is a desire to walk in wisdom and righteousness as a response to God's grace and mercy. 
He will no longer be a slave to sin because God has freed him from the chains of iniquity. Third, he asks God to redeem him from human oppression. He is well aware that there are dangers brought about by living in this fallen world. Many oppose and oppress believers. He made this request not for himself, but so that he could obey God freely. Lastly, he asks God to make his face shine. He is longing to experience God's goodness, grace, and favor. He sees that walking with the Lord is a reward in itself. Prayer Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you making these requests rooted in your word. Look upon us with mercy, for you have always shown us your loving attention and grace. Guide our footsteps in wisdom and righteousness, freeing us from the chains of sin. Protect us from the oppression and opposition, allowing us to obey you freely. Shine your face upon us, that we may experience your goodness, grace, and favor as we walk with you. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.